We're about to hit May, and that's when things start to get exciting for college baseball. Now, the regular season ends in a little over three weeks, and conference tournaments will help decide the field that begins the quest for the College World Series. So let's start our first NCAA baseball power rankings with teams 10 through 6. Number 10, we have some Texas flavor in the early portion of the poll, beginning with Texas Tech. The Red Raiders have been all over the map this season, as high as 3 and as low as 20. But after a series sweep of a ranked Oklahoma State team, Texas Tech right back where they belong and playing like a title contender again. At number nine, Texas A&M. Now, this is actually a slide down for an Aggies team that had been playing some of the best baseball in the country before they were swept at Old Miss over the weekend. Texas A&M dropped back into the pack in a crowded SEC West race, where first through fifth are separated by just three games. But the only two series losses have come on the road, and Texas A&M gets a great chance at home this weekend against a top five Mississippi State team. At number eight, East Carolina. Now, with most of its core returning for a regional host team last year, expectations were certainly high, and the Pirates have delivered. ECU has put up a 13-2 record in the American Athletic Conference, has lost just one series all year, which came on the road to the number one team in our power rankings. At number seven, Oregon State. The defending national champs are right at the top of a crowded Pac-12, which looks like the second best conference in baseball this season. Now, the Beavers have won six straight weekend series, but have a couple of major tests in May, coming on back-to-back -back road weekends against Oregon and Stanford. And number six, the national runner-up from a year ago, Arkansas. The Razorbacks sit atop the SEC West after a sweep of a ranked Tennessee team. Now, that comes on the heels of a home sweep of second-ranked Mississippi State the weekend before. Now, the Razorbacks are historically tough at home, and with a 25-5 home record this year, the path to the College World Series will be favorable once again. Number five, Louisville. The Cardinals juggernaut rolls on one of just five teams in the country with single-digit losses. Louisville's fresh off a 4-0 week that included a series win over Alabama A&M with a score in game one. 32 to 1. Yeah, all right. Might have been a little bit of a mismatch. The Cards are a league best 15 and 6 in the ACC. Their only series loss to a Georgia Tech team that's been ranked in the top 10 at times this season. And number four, Mississippi State. At 36 and 9, the Bulldogs have the most wins in baseball and seem poised to return to Omaha, where they were in the catbird seat but could not reach the championship series last year. The Bulldogs swept the top five Georgia team over the weekend to bounce back after their own sweep at Arkansas. Senior Jake Mangum became the SEC career hits leader against Georgia and his 394 batting average spearheads Mississippi State's conference leading offense. Number three, Vanderbilt. Now, it's a shame that the Commodores and Bulldogs don't play each other in the regular season because these are two of the best offenses around. Vandy leads the SEC in on-base percentage and slugging percentage, and the preseason pick to win the league has won 10 of their past 11 games. They've only dropped two weekend series all season. Up to number two, Stanford. The SEC has the depth, but it's the Pac-12 that takes the top two spots in our poll, starting with number two, Stanford. The Cardinal is atop the conference with a 15-3 record, and two of those losses came to UCLA. Now Stanford's on the road for consecutive weekends before hosting Oregon State in its final home series. And number one, UCLA. And the Bruins have the best defense in the country with NCAA best marks in ERA and WIP. Now they've also challenged themselves in the non-conference with series wins over Georgia Tech and ECU. UCLA sits atop our rankings and seems poised to make it out of the regional round for the first time since 2013. NCAA Baseball Power Rankings are brought to you by IHOP Breck Feasts. Order online and save five bucks.